In this video, we will prepare a work schedule in Microsoft Project. Before we start, let us synchronize our model. Go to External Data and choose Synchronize from, and choose 1.5 for schedule with Microsoft Project. Leave all settings as default and just synchronize it. So you remember from the previous video in the Revit, we used Dynamo to bring in our proposed value to the comments tab. But these values are same. Let's clear all filters. Insert it by element ID from least to the largest by clicking over its name. So after our model is ready, let's take a look at the schedule. In this example, we will use Microsoft Project. And what we will need to do is to provide planning engineer with our preliminary codes. Our codes are quite primitive, but uh, since we are learning Synchro, but not Project Lifecycle Management, it will be enough for practice. Our code will consist of uh, our level information and uh, assembly code. So first of all, let's copy all the resource values to the Excel spreadsheet. Let's select them all, copy as text, paste them in Excel. Now, in Excel, we will concatenate our level with our assembly code. We'll use a formula for that. Let's fill all the values. Here we see that our work breakdown structure code is level, underscore, and assembly code. Most likely, planning engineer would like to enter level and assembly code information to different columns. So let's turn our concatenated values to level and assembly code independently. Let's copy this column, paste it here as values, and first of all, let's remove all duplicates. And now let's split our column to level and assembly code. So let's choose it. And convert text to columns. Let's add a few blank columns and remove duplicates from both levels and assembly codes. In here we have our lookup level and lookup assembly. With the level everything is fine, there is no coding, but for assembly code Let's also write a description for it. You can get the description of our assembly codes in Revit. Just uh, go to the Manage tab, click over Additional Settings and Assembly Code, close it and uh, click over View. And from here you can take the names of the groups for the classification. So that's all that we need to provide to a planning engineer. And let me also quickly show you how to deal with the lookup data inside the Microsoft project. Our project, very simple, with all activities will be 15 days, mostly start to finish. Here, let's add a few more columns. 
the one col the first column will be for assembly code and the other one will be for level code so for the assembly code in the custom attributes let's use a lookup and copy the values that we prepared in excel simply by copying and control v best pasting it inside the table so it's fine for assembly code and let's do the same for our level so let's copy all the values and paste them in the value and that's it let's insert our columns assembly code and level code so the planning engineer should choose a proper value for our piles as an assembly code so for piles to be steel piles with this code and the level is foundation And so on. So the engineer will select a proper assembly code from the drop down and assign it to an activity. And same goes for levels. Uh, for example, we can create a filter based on the name. Select it contains L1 and choose the level one for these tasks. And do the same for the level two. And quickly fill down the rest. Most probably you will not have to fill down all this data on your own and uh, you'll just have to provide the levels that are used in the model and assembly codes to a responsible planning engineer. Meanwhile, let's check how to input work schedule to Synchro from Microsoft Project. For that we will use our help function, so go to the help search and write Microsoft project to the search box. You can find here working with Microsoft project title and in here you can find all necessary information about how to import work schedule from Microsoft project, how to export it back to Microsoft project and how to synchronize it along with the known issues or troubleshooting. Synchro developers sharing best knowledge on how to achieve successful synchronization. We'll return to synchronization a little bit later. But for now, let's take a look at the importing from Microsoft Project. So we're interested in XML file to be imported to Synchro. This all looks quite simple. So let's go to the file, export, save project as a file and choose XML format. Let's name it to Synchro and save it. Inside the Synchro, let's go to the file, import, works for project XML and select our XML file. Click next, leave all the commands default and import it. Now you see that we achieved to import our schedule from Microsoft Project to the Synchro and it seems like everything worked fine for us.